Hey everyone, it's Brendan from Amerivant Web Design. Today we're taking a look at the Divi Builder and one of the main differences it has from other builders, uh, namely we're gonna take a look at today, Bricks Builder. Uh, it's a new WordPress page builder that's on the market. It's only about a year old, um, but they have been making some really good changes to how we build websites. Um, so I wanted to take a look at that today, so some of the small differences between them. I'm not gonna go over everything there's that, that would be obviously a much longer video, but I just want to jump into it uh, in terms of how you lay out content and how something like Bricks is changing the way you build WordPress websites. So let's come in here and take a look at Divi. Uh, we just have some basic content in here, some text. Uh, first of all, let's start with the structure. So we've got the blue section and then we've got our row, which is green. And our row has these two columns. That's great. And then we've got our content within there. Uh, you know, one of the things you've probably noticed when you build with Divi is like, let's say you wanted two buttons right next to each other, that they stack. There's no way to come in here and say, oh, I want another single row in, within this row or column. So that's not possible with Divi unless you use custom CSS and, you know, you can come in here and you can go to the advanced and you can type in your, your CSS here and find that that works great. Um, but if you want a sort of more uniform way to lay out content and not have to code it. Uh, I want to take a look quickly at how you would lay out something like this within uh, another builder called Bricks. So this is the Bricks interface. You can see it's different. It's got your uh, content and style tabs, uh, which are going to be familiar for you if you use other page builders. You've got your various typography settings, background, etc. cetera. Um, and so let's, let's take a look. We've got our section over here on the right side, uh, or, sorry, our structure, and we've got our section here. And within our section, we have a container, and then we've got two columns here, and there's some content in those columns. So we've got a heading that's set to H1. If you, you see it styles, if you go down, et cetera. And then we've got, under that, we've got a div. So you can add just an unstyled div, uh, which is a building element for websites, if you're not familiar, but I mean, everything uses divs, just you know, it's not always called that, but in this it is. And uh, you can see here, there's an icon list within that. We've got our three social media icons. And if we wanted to have them in column, we can do that very quickly just by clicking this. Uh, we can also add some space between them and that holds like that. And uh, you can also set this at different breakpoints. So let's say you wanted it three by three here. By the time you're on this, you want it to, uh, to to stack vertically, and let's say you want it, you know, you want to have it like that on mobile. So that like achieving something like that in Divi, you simply can't do. You can't add those columns that quickly and quickly switch the flex direction to see. Look, I mean, just like that, it's as simple as a click, and it sets it for that breakpoint, and you're good to go. Um, so. The other thing, you know, like it's same, same idea. So if we delete this and we come back here and we come to add a button, we'll add two buttons side by side, duplicate that. And look, they're already right next to each other. I can come to the div. I can say 25 space pixel between those. Great. That look, That's fine. Now let's take a look at the other thing uh, in Divi that, you know, you, if you wanted this to be centered within this image, you have to come up here and you have to set, you know, uh, um, a huge padding on here, or whatever, you know, go 10 vertical height, whatever. And you're still, you know, you're, it's not going to look good on different devices either. It's going to look strange and it, you're just going to have to spend too much time. So what can you do here? You can come to the container element, which holds all these columns and you can come back to the content tab. And if you align center, it's just automatically centered with whatever that content is. So it's gonna be dynamically updated for responsive layouts. Uh, you know, depending on the size of the image, this, this container will shrink accordingly to make sure that all the content is centered. And let's say you wanted, you know, uh, some, some sp space on that, or, or you come back to your column here and, you know, you say, I want, uh, you know, some space between the stuff and it'll then center again around that. So that is a, something that is really powerful for laying out content. Um, it's quick. I didn't have to code anything. Everything's just a few clicks away. Um, and you can see it's also a really snappy builder. It's a lot faster than Divi. 
Um, you know, the one thing I'll say that they're still newer, so they don't have a ton of uh, community templates. Uh, in fact, I don't have it set up right now because this is a test site, but uh, there are, you know, some community templates you can get. Um, but the, the main thing is that you have a lot more control over your content in terms of laying things out. Um, you know, you want it, you, you want the buttons stacked like that. It's, it's just two clicks away. Uh, whereas in Divi, you're opening up, you're coming to the element, you're clicking the setting element, you know, you're, um, you're having to come in here and, and type your stuff and making sure that it looks good on, on, uh, you know, mobile views, et cetera. So it's, it's, it's definitely a little more cumbersome. Whereas this is, uh, you just click, you're good to go, get rid of your spacings, whatever you need to do. Um, it's, it's just a, a few clicks away. It's really quick. So I just wanted to show that uh, main difference off. There's a ton of other differences um, that I won't go into, but it, you know, if, if other people are interested, we can go make another video about it. But I'll quickly go over the the main difference. So w normally, when you go to theme styles uh, for for something like Divi, um, you know, let's, let's just exit really quick. I'll show you briefly, and and uh, we can take a look at this maybe in a subsequent video. Um, but if we come into uh, let's see, customize. And uh, you'll see that, you know, as you know, that there's not a ton of options. There's, uh, you know, there's some typography settings. You can just set a single color background. But I don't have any control over the uh, elements themselves in terms of the section or the columns. Like, let's say I wanted no gutter width on my columns, whatever. Um, whereas if you come into to Bricks here, there's a theme style directly in your page editor. So you can come in here and style all these elements, which are every single element that you can actually build on the site. You might not want to get into everything here, but the main things you might want to look at are like sections. So like, for instance, I have some built-in padding on it right now. And you can see that padding. If I hover over the blue box, it's all that space below and above the blue box until the orange box. So there's some built-in padding and it, and it uh, has some, some built-in uh, side padding as well to make sure that it looks good on responsive. So everything's, everything looks good. So that's there. Your typography settings are here. You can say your H1s through H6, your block quotes, et cetera. There's a ton of stuff in here. We won't go over all that. Um, you, know, you, have your, you can have to style all your buttons here, your dark, light, small, medium, large, extra large buttons. So if we come in here and we change our primary button, you can see that just changed it everywhere on our site. And then when we go to you know add another button, uh, another button here, and you can select the style, light or dark, muted, etc. All these different uh, options, and you can style those globally, so you don't have to, um, you know, set it. You know, Divi has this option as well, right? Uh, but it's it's a little more cumbersome to to get to. Uh, but in any case, everything's styled at a at a global level here, which is can save you a ton of time. So uh, that's one of the other main differences. Uh, if this was uh, at all interesting, please uh, let me know and we'll make more of these videos. All right, guys, take care.